Three deadly mistakes, which will kill your chances of ever getting your ex back, avoid at all cost. Most of us experience a breakup at one point in our life, unfortunately. While this is not necessarily going to make you feel instantly any better, it can be comforting to know some advice about what can work to get your ex back and what mistakes to avoid at all cost. Getting your ex back isn't easy, but it's completely possible in 90% of all cases, even if you think all hope is lost. Sadly many people give up before they even try. It will require commitment on your part, but if you still love your ex, it's worth it many times over. Mistake number one, reasoning and nagging. Many people confuse a breakup with a debate to be won. You cannot persuade or convince your ex to call off the breakup. You shouldn't try to list reasons why you two are perfect for each other. That's not how love works. They have already evaluated those elements and made their decision. You have to make them aware that they are missing something and increase their desire for you. You can get back your loved one only if they want to come back to you because they respect you and feel attracted. Although this is counterintuitive, letting your ex some time to breathe right now is one of the best things you can do to save your relationship. This will build attraction much more than if you bombard them with attention or nag them constantly. Mistake number two, acting needy and desperate. That mistake actually lies at the core of most other possible mistakes you can make. If you manage to get this your needy emotions under control, you will be way way ahead in the process of getting your ex back. C. People are programmed to reject neediness. It's the same not only in love, but in almost any situation in life. Think for a moment. For example, would you hire someone for a job because they were pleading, nagging, or begging you? I suspect, you wouldn't. You would rather hire the person that you like most and that is best suitable to work with you. This principle applies to so many areas of life folks, especially in relationships and love. Keep that in mind, mistake number three, deciding to drink and neglecting your appearance. This one seems obvious, but many of us seem unable to follow that advice. I know, I have been guilty of making this mistake before too. But. Why is this such a big mistake? The only chance you have with your ex is if they like you and want to come back to you. Do you think they will get attracted to you because you can drink a whole bottle of wine before going to bed? Do you think they will get attracted to you, because you sit around the house all day, watching endless hours of TV and looking like a zombie? On the other hand, if you try and make the best out of the situation, don't let yourself dow, get together with some friends and actually start exercising and looking after yourself, you will become more attractive and desirable to your ex. Avoiding these three major mistakes has been proven to aid in getting your ex back in your arms.